Hello, uh, I'm Dale Molnar. I'm the owner of Southlight Studio, and I'm working on a particularly interesting project right now. I have this window that is going to be used as a panel in a door. It had been in a door. And it's interesting because um, it has several different lives already. In the very center, there's a circle, and this glass is considerably older than glass in the rest of the panel. The lead caning has a slight ridge on the edges. And that's because um, studios would have their own small mills for rolling out their own caning. Um, this this uh, caning doesn't entirely cover all of the glass and there are lots of broken pieces. The lead is also in very bad shape. There are places where uh, the, the caning has broken and places where the solder joints have broken. Some of this very old glass is also uh, used in other parts of the window, but there, there's glass, at least three different ages of glass. So this panel at some point was cobbed together. Then, someone decided to put it in a door panel. And you can tell that it used to have an edge piece around because all of the places where the lead caning comes to the edge have residue of an old solder joint. But when they put it into the door, it was um, a little bit too big. And so they took the edging off and they put this rebar on, which then didn't have anything on the edge to attach to, so it was just floating. And the problem with that is, every time a door closes, the door stops, the glass wants to keep going. And, and that stress caused the places where the rebar was floating to cause those pieces of glass to break up considerably. So I'm faced with several interesting um, problems with this. Um, one is to try and match the old glass. And there are several uh, studios that have, through the years, worked with um, restoration and repairs. There are salvage yards where I can find old windows and try and match the glass. And I've been able to um, find several um, pieces of glass that are exact matches and several that at least match the age of the glass and are similar. Maybe the shades slightly different. Uh, when, when working with an old window like this, it's very important to determine what was used as a weatherproofing. Some studios would use white lead, lead oxide, and linseed oil as a weatherproofing. And if that's the case, when you start tearing the window apart, you're putting uh, particles of lead into the air, and you have to take uh, measures for lead abatement. This window, however, uh, fortunately used um, just putty, used whiting and linseed oil, and uh, it's still, however, problematic and I would use uh, a respirator uh, with a particulate filter on it while I'm tearing the window apart but I don't have to tear it apart under water and con contain all of the, uh, the lead. But an old window will have um, a lot of lead oxide on the surface of the lead. Over the years it will build up, the window will be washed, it will get it'll get washed away, and layer after layer after layer after layer will cause the lead caning, the face of the lead caning, to get thinner and thinner and be less structurally sound. When looking at 
putting this panel back together to go in a door, the structural integrity is very important. Of course, I'm going to try and match all of the glass I can, and any glass I have to replace, I will replace with glass that is at least as old or older than the glass in the window. But there are other considerations. For instance, here's a piece of glass that was broken that I could epoxy back together, maybe even put a piece of strapping over that, that brake line. But for a door panel, it's not going to have the structural integrity necessary. If it was going to be a fixed window, that would be a good solution. So there will be pieces of glass that I have to replace, and what I will do is I will save as an archive in case at some point in the future this, this window gets yet another life um, so that uh, the, the glass is, is still available and integral to whatever this conglomerate of windows really is. Okay, so I just turned off the air circulation system in the studio so there's not that roar in the background. Hope you can hear me better now uh, and thanks for bearing with me through that oversight. So anyway, I wanted to talk about the other considerations in, in redoing this window and one of the important things is although we're going to replace the lead we want to match the old profiles of the caming as close as possible. For that, I go to a company called DHD Metals in Conyers, Georgia. They will make the extruded caming to match these profiles as close as possible. They have hundreds of dies so that they can do that. Also the consideration that since we're going to put this in a door, I want to use a lead formula that is a little harder. Back in the 60s, uh, we, because of our wonderful technology, we started making pure lead caming. And it wasn't very long before we figured out that the new lead caming didn't hold up as well as the older stuff because the older stuff had impurities in it and was harder. So now we can adjust the formula of, of the lead caming and add a little bit of copper and some antimony or antimony if you're English um, and make, make a, a lead formula that will have more structural integrity and will last longer. So for that I go to uh, DHD Metals. So, there are several things. One is that while I'm working on this, I'm adding a zinc edge that will then allow the panel to be molded into the door and will give a rebar something solid to attach to to make the entire thing more structurally sound. And I will use a rebar. This thin um, galvanized rebar really didn't do much but I will use a much heavier much stronger um, structural um, zinc steel rebar. I will also um, use some um, pieces where I will um, piece, piece um, an old piece of glass together with a lead line so that I can use as much of the old glass as possible in this um, restoration. I'm also going to ask you to like me and if you have any questions or comments and especially if you want to see the finished project I'm going to make another um, uh, video uh, and discuss any concerns or or anything that happened in the making of it and you'll be able to see the finished project in a door if you go ahead and subscribe.